the Yeti Chomper, a variant of the Chomper class that stands out from the crowd in being the first and only Chomper variant in the entirety of Garden Warfare 2's history to have a primary weapon that has more than 7 meters worth of range, a concept that although sounds great on paper, was sadly not executed well within the game, having to sacrifice valuable information in order to actually get some proper range out of him, makes him a double-edged sword to use. So, let's take another look and see if he is either just barely making the line of a decent character or just falling short. Obviously, let us reacquaint ourselves with what Yeti Chomper has to offer before we begin our assessment. The Yeti Chomper's primary weapon, as previously stated, is a unique addition amongst the Chomper class, in being the only ranged primary weapon in the entire Chomper class. However, the projectile in question travels extremely slowly and has an extremely harsh arc, making it extremely clunky to use at anything beyond close range. If you want to engage in any fight beyond close range, you you have to get used to looking towards the fucking spy, which whilst you'll finally get the range out of this character that you can hope for, you basically have zero awareness of your surroundings in the fucking slightest, so it's a this for that kind of scenario, and you have to pick what is more valuable. The weapon fires at 90 rounds per minute, and has no limitations in how much it can be used, being one of the few weapons in the entire game to truly have infinite ammo. Each shot fired equates to 35 damage for a direct hit, and up to 10 for the splash in an extremely generous radius one of the largest in the whole game the weapon has extremely harsh damage drop off going down to as little as 15 damage for a direct hit at anything beyond close range with him being a nice variant he also gets to chill and freeze enemies being able to freeze enemies in as soon as four direct hits so far what is advertised to us here is a chomper that has access to much more range than any of the other variants in his class although as stated earlier in order to get the most out of said range. You'll have to look upwards towards the sky at a rather unnatural angle, which not only makes him awkward to use at longer distances, but it makes it very easy to be surprised and be flanked around you to how much you have to raise your crosshair. Take for example this scenario right here on Z-Tech Factory, where some scientists are attempting to capture the objective. In order for me to even have a remote chance at attacking them, I have to look far above them in order for my projectiles to actually hit. Some would argue that Yeti Chomper is not supposed to engage at this distance, and whilst I would agree with you, here's the issue, even at a medium range distance like this, and on even ground, I would still have to look all the way up here in order for my bullets to actually land, provided, what does make this easier for Yeti Chomper, is his extremely huge blast radius, being so huge in fact, that he shared second place with Tank Commander, for having the largest blast radius in the game, only being beaten by the electrician, this huge blast radius, does actually allow him to very easily chip at enemies from long distances and slowly tamper their movement speed. Which also leads into the next issue, the damage drop off range. Yeti Chomper's damage drop off is the shortest distance in the entire game, starting at 5 and ending at 15. And if you know anything about damage drop off, you know that the damage drop off range is affected by the camera offset, making it so that you literally have to touch your enemies in order to have a full damage output. And because of how short it is, 9 times out of 10, you're either going to hit the minimum damage output, or just the splash, making his damage output rather poor, even if the player is capable of landing direct hits, which also makes his damage upgrade hard to properly take advantage of, due to how his projectile functions, which overall, harms his gameplay, and makes it hard to score direct hits, and have an actual functional damage output, which when compared side by side with the stock chomper, it just makes him far too sad situational to use, and honestly really unfortunate, for whilst he may have a unique concept, it's sadly overlooked due to how clunky and inefficient it is to use. But what if this wasn't the end of the line? What if Yeti Chomper was given another chance to become a potentially great character that actually felt satisfying and not clunky at all to play? Well, here is how I, a person who has no life, would rebalance the Yeti Chomper. Understandably, there is a lot to unpack here, with a grand total of 9 individual changes in total, 6 being buffs, 1 being an adjustment, and 2 being nerfs. But the main summary of these changes is to allow Yeti Chomper a much more flexible experience, with a projectile that travels much faster, and whilst still having a relatively harsh arc, it is not as overly as harsh before. 
Here, we can see that now, at this same distance, instead of having to look all the way up here, there's only a slight upward angle that has to be accounted for, and that's it. This new style of play makes his primary weapon much more reliable, and flexible, not only for securing direct hits, but also in engaging at long distances. The increased far damage, and increased damage drop off range, allow him to take on enemies from more comfortable distances without completely neutering his damage output from more than 5 meters away. Way. The slight increase to his rate of fire also provides as a minor but much needed improvement to his damage output. Granting him all this extra power and range however would be too much without a compromise. Hence these two nerfs right here. These nerfs are mainly aimed at his extremely generous blast radius and toning it down. The overall range where you'll deal the guaranteed 10 damage is only ever so slightly smaller. It's mainly the radius around it where the damage drops off at significantly smaller. This is mainly aimed in still granting some generous splash, whilst forcing players to be more precise. Which is especially encouraged with how much damage you can't now potentially deal on directs. Sadly, we do not have this luxury to have this present in actual online games, and can only be within the realm of our dreams. For what Yeti Chomper could be. A Chomper that had potential, but was wasted in terms of execution. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.